ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHES, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 45 of the Chelsea Career Motor and Xbox One, and it is transfer deadline day. Now, we uh, made the decision in the previous episode that we either were going to go out and out for a left back signing or a, uh, you know, a rotation striker because, of course, Torres picked up that broken ankle. I've decided to go in for a left back because we've got players like Andre Scherler and Marco Royce that can fill in up top as a striker if Loic Remy or Luis Muriel cannot play for whatever reason. So we've put in two offers, one for Fabio. Cointrell and one for Luis, uh, no, Felipe Luis rather. And uh, actually, it took them five hours to return emails to me to let me know that they both actually rejected the offers that I'd put in in the first place. I don't know why it took them so long to get back to me, but I put in, uh, you know, kind of counter offers for each player, kind of raising up the offer that I put in for each of them by a couple of mil or so, just to try and entice them into uh, to actually giving me the the, uh, the left back because like we say we're going to be replacing Ashley Cole if we possibly can do because he's 34 now his stats are dropping we're looking for another first team left back because De Chilio, whilst he's decent isn't necessarily as good as uh, as we possibly are looking for for a first team left back we also get an offer for Lars Bender in the uh, in the next hour a really big offer in fact from Lazio I wasn't expecting an offer like this for, uh, for Lars Bender he's not our out and out first team holding mid to get an offer of almost twice what his value is was quite surprising but of course with uh, Kevin De Bruyne and Arturo Vidal both out injured long term um, I just won't be letting him go. We have to wait until just one hour left before Atletico Madrid came back and said, yes, actually, we will accept your offer for uh, for Felipe Luis. Uh, perhaps that was tactful on uh, on their part because, of course, the uh, the transfer window was going to end before any deal could possibly go through. So I tried as hard as I possibly could to uh, to try and get a left back for uh, for the first team, and uh, unfortunately, due to the um, due to just the lackadaisical lazy replies from other teams we aren't able to bring anyone in so we've got 24 odd million in the uh, in the transfer budget that's going to get unused this season so uh, what I may do is hire a couple of uh, very very good scouts some of the best scouts and try and pick out a couple of youth prospects if I possibly can maybe use the uh, the thing from the football club the EA Sports Football Club to try and bring in uh, you know that scout future star thing. Maybe we'll use that for uh, for this series. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, we're jumping into a game on the second of February in the Barclays Premier League away at Fulham. Now, uh, of course, it's the uh, the West London derby. It's not really too much of too much importance to uh, to Chelsea, but I know Fulham fans do uh, do like to win this one if they possibly can. We do sit top of the table, just a point ahead of Arsenal, three points ahead of Manchester United. So we do still need to keep up the pressure at the top if we want to maintain our. Uh, our lead to be completely honest but look Remy's playing in this one hopefully to, uh, to try and pick up his first goals for the club because he hasn't done so yet made a couple of substitute appearances but uh, he goes close there in the 18th minute trying to get himself uh, in front but gets on the end of this one another decent effort but unfortunately the ball just won't drop properly for him first shot is well saved then it bubbles free and he can't get hold of it and unfortunately the ball falls back to the goalkeeper but it's going to be involved again here linking up well with Lucas Piazzon nice header down to him those feet are fantastic and it's glorious glorious yes it's a glorious left footed shot across the goalkeeper into that bottom right hand corner to give us a 1-0 lead just before half time we'll see a replay of that because uh, his feet were absolutely wonderful to, uh, to take it under control and then turn inside that defender there just as he reached out for the tackle Breda Hangland and then a fantastic finish cross goalkeeper with his weaker foot and we're actually going to make it two just before half time the ball's eventually going to drop to Lucas Piazza on the edge of the box here headed down from Royce and the technique for that volley is absolutely superb I wasn't expecting that sort of finish from Lucas Piazza to be honest but that kind of highlights how much he's come on since we started this career mode he's rated 80 overall now you see better from this second replay where uh, it slows the uh, the connection down that technique is superb I really really like that finish delighted for Lucas Piazza to get a goal and uh, we do go in at half time we with a 2-0 lead but we make a change on the 65th minute to, uh, to try and freshen things up in the middle of the midfield just to make sure that we can hold on to this 2-0 lead bring on Leroy Fur for, uh, for Lars Bender and we're going to have a chance to make it 3 here again Loic Remy doing the business up top lovely leap and flick on for Marco Royce gets away from the defender and I would have put my house on Marco Royce scoring from there but unfortunately he plays the ball straight at the goalkeeper isn't accurate enough with the finish 
and uh, we aren't able to extend the lead to 3-0 completely kill the game off and they're going to have a couple of chances before the game's out Kieran Richardson just able to uh, to get to that one ahead of the goalkeeper but not able to get it on target so we get a let off there they're going to have one final effort before the game was going to be out Brian Ruiz feeds the ball into Klaas and Huntelaar it's a snapshot from, uh, from the edge of the box not really too much power or accuracy on it Unfortunately for us, it's an easy save for Petr Cech. So we take the three points from that one. Absolutely delighted. We're going to push on in the Barclays Premier League. And hopefully we can continue our good run of form. But one thing you guys did want me to do, and you were very, very vocal about this in the in the comments of one of the recent videos, was bring Marco Van Ginkle. Is it Van Ginkle or Van Hinkle? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Marco Van Ginkle. Van Hinkle back from loan from Real Madrid and get him involved in the first team because of course we do have the injuries to the central midfielder so that is exactly what I did and uh, he actually caught a plane back from uh, from Real Madrid on the exact same day that uh, we recorded him from the loan and was available to start that afternoon but uh, I put him on the bench rather than starting him just so uh, I don't want to throw him straight in at the deep end but we're home against Cardiff City again in the rain I cannot wait for the summer to come around I want to play in the sunshine again I'm so bored of playing in these wet conditions it's so much more frustrating trying to uh, to get to play some decent football. But nonetheless, Arsenal lost their game that uh, they played the other day. So uh, we're actually four points clear now at the top of the table. But the first thing that was going to happen in this game is we're sloppy in midfield. Lovely ball over the top to Nico Cranshaw of all players. Slots the ball underneath uh, Petr Cech. And we go 1-0 down after just five minutes. Not the start that I wanted in this game, to be completely honest. But we didn't have to wait long to get ourselves back on level terms. Danilo powering his way down the right-hand side. We Whips the ball in. Light Remy picking up his second goal in two games. Fantastic leap and header on him yet again. Wonderful goal. And that's the exact sort of thing that I'm looking for, Light Remy. He's proving to be worth the £6 million that we brought him in for already. That's a fantastic header. The, uh, the, to be able to get it up into the corner and away from the goalkeeper because of the uh, the pressure of the two defenders on him was a really, really impressive header. Delighted that Loremi had has had such an instant impact. And Eden Hazard almost putting us two goals in the lead there from uh, from that trickled shot towards the far bottom corner. The goalkeeper did have to, uh, to make sure that he got down to it. He was going to sneak in the bottom corner, but he was able to get down to it. But Oscar was going to come close to putting us 2-0 up here again. And David Marshall with another good save. He is a really, really fantastic goalkeeper. Time and time again in real life as well he has kept Cardiff City in games making huge hugely important saves and um, top class world class saves as well been really really impressed with him to be completely honest but uh, we were actually going to make it 2-1 here get ourselves in front a couple of lucky rebounds to like Remy before uh, a really nice finish that's his second good finish of the game and that's his third goal in the past two games so he's really having an impact on this first team stepping up to the plate because Torres of course is out for three months with that broken ankle but it was time for Van Ginkle Van Hinkle Van whatever his name is to try and get into the action on the pits get himself a taste of the Barclays Premier League I swapped him out for Oscar I wanted to put him out as a holding mid but Oscar was really really tired so I transferred him out or changed him out for Oscar and uh, he's going to come on at Cam but before he gets a touch of the ball we're actually going to give away a penalty Branislav Ivanovic is overly physical with uh, with this effort here it's kind of similar to the penalty that Ramirez won against West Brom it's kind of debatable as to whether it is a penalty or not or whether the, uh, the attacker should just be on the weights and be a little bit stronger and Vanovic shifts his weight across, knocks him off the ball, referee deems it a foul, and Mason is going to step up to take the penalty. Can he equalise for Cardiff? He cannot equalise for Cardiff. He smashes the ball over the top of the bar, flops to the ground in absolute frustration and disbelief. I was <laughs> That actually uh, cracked me up when he just kind of flopped to the floor like that. That uh, really kind of tickled me a little bit. But he clearly was uh, extremely disappointed at the fact that they hadn't been able to get themselves back in the game. Van Hinkle's been on the pitch 15 minutes. What happens? He gets an injury. We are not having much luck with injuries right now. I thought, thankfully, it's only a bruised shoulder and he's only going to be out for nine days. But I don't know what it is with injuries recently. We just get, you know, one after the other at the minute. That's three. No, f actually, hang on. Van Hinkle, Vidal, Kevin De Bruyne, Fernando Torres and Schola was out for three weeks as well with a training injury that I haven't shown you the uh, the footage of because it was just an email. So we had five injuries at one time and uh, we're still able to pick up points in the league which is exactly what you need from a good quality depth squad and uh, that is exactly what we're doing. We sit six 
points clear at the top of the table now. But of course, Arsenal do have a game in hand, so they can narrow that gap back down to four if they win. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologise that we weren't able to bring anyone in on deadline day. I am quite disappointed that we haven't been able to strengthen as much as we possibly could do. But maybe I'll use the uh, the transfer budget other in other areas, like I said, with scouts and perhaps bring in the uh, the scout for future star. Let me know what you think of that idea in the comment section down below. But if you missed yesterday's video, there's a link to it. There's an annotation on the screen over that snippet of gameplay. Feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy it. That'd be absolutely superb. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel and you would like to do so, there's a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the little subscribe button there. So uh, you can subscribe to the channel. We're closing up to, as I record this, 5,500 subscribers. We probably will have passed that by the time you see that video. So that is absolutely fantastic. The channel is still growing absolutely beautifully. So I cannot thank you guys enough for the immense support you show it day in, day out, week in, week out. So it's all down to you guys. I cannot thank you enough. But that's going to bring this one to a close. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.